welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a haul from Nasty Gal. Now, I've done a couple of hauls from Nasty Gal in the past, but I haven't done one in a little while. So I'm really excited to see what they've got in that's new and try out some different bits from them. You might notice in this video that my voice is sounding just a little bit strange. And it's because I've been quite ill actually for the past sort of week and a half with like a really nasty um, cough and sore throat. And I actually lost my voice a couple of days ago. Um, it was it was entertaining I have to say I could maybe get a couple of words out at a time and then it just turned into air and when those words did come out they were so high-pitched and squeaky it was it was kind of funny um, but I've got my voice back now it's still just a little bit raspy but I really wanted to film today because I was excited to try out these clothes so I think we'll just we'll just have to cope with it so if you are new here I don't normally sound quite like this so we just have to bear with it. So let's get on in to the haul today. I have to say a massive thank you to Nasty Gal for gifting me these items. I really appreciate it. All the links to everything that I try in today's haul will be down in the description box below. And if you are new here, if you wanted to press subscribe and stick around, I would absolutely love to have you and I'd really appreciate that. So let's start off with these fun trousers. Now, before we talk about the trousers, in terms of sizing, I am between a 24 and a 26. It's a bit difficult to know. I am on a weight loss journey at the moment and my size is changing and, you know, different shops have completely different sizes and I'm finding it a little bit tricky to know what size to order at the moment. So I will tell you what size I've picked everything up in. Hopefully I've made the right choices. Some things might be too big, some things might be too small, but we'll we'll get there, we'll figure it out together. So these trousers are in a 26 and they're a really fun, high-waisted, like faux leather baggy trouser. Now, you know me, I love a high-waisted, loose baggy trouser moment. And so when I saw these, I thought they looked so cool and I had to get them. I've paired it with this like black and white stripy top. I'm not, I, I don't hate it. I'm not completely sold on like the combination. I think because there's stripes, I don't know if it just looks a little bit odd having the stripes tucked in, like they don't look straight against the like hem of the trousers does that make sense hem waistline of the trousers um so i'm not sure about the top and trousers but let me know what top you'd wear with these trousers in terms of fit i think i probably could have got a oh, i think i could have got a 24 i think the 26 is a bit too big and the 24s might have been a bit too small i'm not sure um but yeah i would probably have got a 24 in these there's so much room in the tummy which is what i need from a pair of trousers i hate having um like tight trousers on my tummy and then having my stomach on show it's just not my preference so like if i'm wearing jeans i wear a long top to cover my tummy so if i'm wearing um like something tucked into trousers i want them to be really high waisted and sort of loose fitting on the tummy which they are they're really baggy on the on the legs which isn't going to be to everyone's taste but i think they look so cool the only thing i would say is i am 5'9 and these are very long. Like I've got them pretty high waisted and they're very long. I tried to walk up the stairs. I just made myself a drink. I tried to walk up the stairs and I nearly died. I nearly went flat on my face because I was tripping over them. So I would definitely, even with heels, they're gonna be um, a bit long. So just take note of that. I am quite tall at 5'9 and these are super long. So I wanna get them taken up. But I don't know if you can, like, the kind of fabric it is, like, stitching into it. I guess if you used a really tight stitch on a sewing machine, trying to talk like I know what I'm on about when I absolutely don't. I bought my sewing machine years ago. I don't know where it is. It's gathering dust. I think it's in the garage. So I'll have to figure that one out. If you've got any tips, please let me know because I want to make these work. Um, but yeah, I just think they're so cool. Like I said, I know they're not going to be to everyone's taste, but I actually just think that I look really cool and fun. And they do have pockets, which is great. And they do have belt buckles as well, so you can accessorize it with a belt. Um, so you've got options there. I definitely wish I'd picked them up in a 24, but you know, <laughs> I'm still, I'm figuring this out on this journey. Um, but yeah, I really like these, like I was saying. So I would 
definitely recommend if you're a bit taller if you're sort of my height and shorter you'll have to think about how you'll make that work but I think they're so so fun so sticking with the trousers I also picked these fabulous green trousers up in a 26 now these definitely need an iron <laughs> um they're, yeah, they're very, very creased, definitely need an iron. What I would say is I'm definitely a 24 in trousers, I think, because again, these are quite loose here. But you know what the problem is? They're quite loose here, but then they're a bit more clingy on the tummy. So if I did get a 24, like, they'd be too clingy on the tummy. I don't like these anywhere near as much. Again, I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this top, but I just feel like because of the kind of material, you can see everything like you can just see like my top underneath like the line like I, I just think it's not a very forgiving fabric so I love the colour I just think yeah it's not necessarily what about if I I don't know I don't know if I'm feeling these trousers as much as the other ones you'll have to let me know what you think I'm just you know I, I felt excited when I put those over trousers on whereas these I'm just like I don't, I don't, I'm not I'm not sure I feel like they the high-waisted doesn't necessarily work on them I don't know I'm not sure about these guys and again extremely long um so i think maybe nasty gal are quite generous in the length of their trousers but these would be much easier to take up because of the fabric there aren't any pockets we don't have any belt hoops this is what they look like from the back yeah i don't know about these ones guys i really really wanted to love these but i don't feel anywhere near the same as i did for the previous trousers so i think unfortunately these aren't the ones for me but they're a fun color and i definitely want to find some trousers in this color but these ones just just aren't quite the ones so next up we have this very very blue dress now i got this in a 24 and uh she's tight she's a tight dress she is definitely not working for me right now <laughs> so i should have definitely gotten a 26 in this but it is more of a form-fitting kind of dress so i probably should have expected that but hey the dress is fun i don't have anything in this color it is definitely short she's, she's very very short but i'm hoping that if it fit a little bit better it would maybe be just a tiny bit longer but i actually like when it fits better i actually really quite like it it's really silky i love like the vibrance of the color it is quite a sort of low cut um top here but i feel like it's it's sort of sitting in a place where you're not seeing too much do you know what i mean um the sleeves are a little bit long they've got a little like bell cuff on them um so yeah they are a bit long and obviously it's super tight on the bum <laughs> um but it will be a little bit looser if i had a 26 one day this will fit me and i think i'm gonna really really enjoy wearing this because yeah it's, it's very different for me but I'm, I'm experimenting like i like the little ruching here so i wouldn't wear it as is but maybe by time summer comes around i might feel a bit more comfortable to wear this but i just love the color like is the color working for me i've never worn anything this color like let me know does this color work for me and my skin tone i think it does i think so like I don't know you'll have to let me know um so yeah this is a no for now if i had it in a size up maybe just need to be careful i mean it's not too short from the back it's just at the front where there's the little wrap it gets a little bit shorter um so it's a no for now i'm gonna put it away for the future though but yeah i really like it if it fit me a bit better i think i would love it even more it's just a no for now but super fun and let me know if i should try more in this color because i'm feeling inspired to like a silky shirt with some black trousers in this color that would be fun let me know what you think i will just show you with this dress i picked up this coat as well now i have to say this coat is so heavy it's amazing quality like it's really really great quality i'm so impressed i picked this up in a 26 is that right in a 26 so i'll pop this on and show you 
but like I said, I'm so impressed with the quality. It is a thick, heavy coat, so it is quite long. And it's got this like black and white speckled patterning on it. Now in terms of fit, does she do up? Yes. A little bit tighter on the bottom button, but definitely does up. It's a little bit longer than I'd normally go for in a coat. So you'll have to let me know what you think of the length. Um, because that's the only thing I'm not sure on. It does have pockets, but um, they're the kind of pockets that are sewn up to begin with, so I just need to unpick them. Don't know why brands do that. Like, surely people want access to pockets. <laughs> um, but at least there are pockets. But I just can't get over the quality of this coat. Like, I'm so, so impressed. It will definitely be up for trying more coats from Nasty Gal. But yeah, I think this is really, really nice. Um, if I was going out for a nice dinner, something like that, I'd definitely wear this coat for that. It's definitely a warmer coat. It's not like a winter snow, ice, rain coat, but it's like, it keeps me warm in the spring kind of coat. So yeah, I'm just very, very impressed with that. I think it's been so well made and I'm very excited to wear it. So next up, I picked this really pretty lilac, almost gray dress. Like there's definitely a hint of lilac in it. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera. Now, I picked this up in a 24 and I definitely needed a 26. Like you can see the serious gaping, but this is why it's so hard. <laughs> like, excuse my voice. It's so hard to pick your sizing because the trousers in a 26 were way too big. The dresses in a 24 are too small. So it's really difficult to get your sizing right online so maybe um if you're in between two sizes take the bigger size on this dress especially if you carry a lot of weight in your middle section like i do because it is a more form-fitting dress and with there being buttons it's not forgiving at all but it will in summer hopefully work for me and i really like it it's so pretty like i love the cut of the neck it's deep but not so deep that i feel like i'm falling out though i do have to say my boobs are a lot smaller than they used to be, so the risk of falling out has has reduced dramatically. <laughs> I got refitted for a bra yesterday, and um, yeah, positives, I can now buy bras from shops that I couldn't buy them from before. Um, but yeah, I'm having to get used to the, the reducing chest, which, you know, when anyone loses weight, the first thing that goes tends to be their chest, tends to be their boobs. So um, yeah, it's just it's just different for me. It's just a bit different. But like I was saying, before I got sidetracked, I do like the cut. I think it's really nice. I like the colour. I do wish it was a tiny bit more purple than grey, um, but I do still like it. And I love the um, fabric has like, it's like checked. I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but hopefully you can see that the fabric has like a really subtle check pattern in it. I think the shoulders are really cute with the little poof, the length is great I love this length of a dress and then it does have a little collar which is kind of weird because it's only at the back I could have done without the collar maybe you could tuck it in but like can you see what I mean the collar is only at the back so hang on wait is it it's not a collar is it you idiot <laughs> it's not a collar it's a bit of fabric that is meant to be tucked in oh my god I was playing with that for so long being like why is this collar so weird it's not a collar it's excess fabric that should be tucked in wow wow my brain is obviously not functioning at 100% just yet guys I've been I've been poorly this week um but yeah okay so I take everything said about the collar back whose dog is barking I don't know if you can hear that but there is a dog somewhere in the neighborhood popping off outside so apologies if you can hear that uh, <laughs> so yeah I think when this fits me a bit better, I'm going to love it. And I think this will be great for summer anyway. Can you imagine a picnic in the park with this? Very excited for that. It is getting warmer, guys. It's getting warmer. It's still freezing. It's still cold. But we're having to use the heating less. I've even opened a few windows this morning just to air the house out. I can feel the change is coming. I, and I can, oh, I'm so excited. I'm keeping everything crossed that we continue on this trajectory because I am so ready for a bit of warmth. I know that March is normally 
March can be hit or miss. But by the time April comes, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to be really nice because I'm over the cold. I'm so, so over it. Um, but yes, I think this is cute. Definitely um, size up or if you're in between sizes, get the, get the larger size just to give you a bit more room to play within the tummy. But definitely cute. It's just a shame it doesn't fit yet, but hopefully by summer. So this next dress is a gorgeous star printed dress. Now, I did pick this one up in a 28 because it's the only size they had in stock at the time that I ordered it and I really really liked it so I wanted to give it a go um it kind of I mean no it doesn't fit it's a shame because it's so so pretty but I wanted to be able to show the dress off anyway because I really really like this and if it did fit a little bit better like look how cute this is I absolutely love this if I could get it in a smaller size I definitely would um I wonder if I could get it taken in at the back because it's not like as soon as I pull it in at the back it fits perfectly um so yeah maybe I'll see because there is a zip up the back so maybe I could cut the zip out remove some of the material and re put the zip in again talking as if I know what I'm doing but I do have a friend who knows what they're doing so maybe they can help me do that um but I love the shape of it, like the little frills across the chest. It is a little lace up corset kind of moment at the front. Just to show you that you can have it a little bit looser. I've obviously tightened it quite a bit because it is a bit too big for me, unfortunately, but I just think it's super cute. I love the sleeves with the frill again, and I think it's a really nice length. So if you are a size 28, I definitely recommend this. I really love this dress. I just need to make some adjustments to make it work for me. Um, but like I said, I think it's so, so cute. I really, really love it. I hope it's in stock in other sizes um, or it comes back in stock. And if it does, I might actually just 